the average person that's on a standard American diet, you have to um, you have to realize that the limitations that most people are imposing upon themselves are not the real limitations that that nature and wisdom uh, imposes upon the human body. We the human body is a heroic piece of machinery. It's fabulous. And are we using our bodies to its full capacity? No. And living in this environment now, what's happened to us, how we're swimming through a polluted environment, everything around us we're not aware of, can we, can we survive it? Yeah, but you've got to stay ahead of the game. Yeah, and, and I were talking about that last time, where it used to be, uh, or at least it, we perceived it to be 20 years ago or more, you could say, okay, well, you know, this person wants to eat poorly or smoke cigarettes or drink a lot of alcohol, or do whatever they do, and it's like, okay, that's your life, this is my life. But now, because of the chemical toxicity of the you know, industrial society, yeah, well, it's... Kill, it's kill right. Yeah. You, it's pretty hard to escape all this, but that's why it's critical. See, a lot of people, when they get into eating a good diet, and they go through biological healing and, uh, in the beginning, and they think that's the, the, the hard part. It's not. The hard part is when you get older. The hard part comes as you get cleaner, and you're more sensitive to what's in, in our environment. You're more sensitive to things like those cell towers and cell phones and things and dirty electricity and the wrong, you know, and the wrong type of food. That's why I, I encourage people to develop parameters of their diet and stay within them because you won't realize when you're bouncing in and out of your parameters what you're doing to yourself. 